This is a Friday in Paris, filmed by hidden camera. The streets are blocked by a huge crowd of Muslim worshippers, and it's enforced by private security. This is all illegal in France. The public worship, the blocked streets, and the private security. But the police have been ordered not to intervene. It shows that even though some in the French government want to get tough with the Muslims and ban the burqa, other parts of the French government continue to give Islam privileged status. An ordinary French citizen who was watching the Islamization of Paris decided that the world needed to see what was happening to his city. So he bought a hidden camera and started posting the videos on YouTube. His life has been threatened and so we're concealing his identity. He uses the alias of Maxime Le Pont. Uh, they are blocking the streets with bar barriers. They are playing on the ground and the, the inhabitants of this district cannot leave their home nor go into their home during those prayers. The Muslims who are taking over those streets do not have any authorization. They do not go to the police headquarters, so it's completely illegal. These Muslims have been granted unofficial rights that no Christian group is likely to get under France's laicite or secularism law. So it says people have the right to uh, share any belief they want, any religion, but they have to uh, practice at home or in the mosque, uh, synagogues, uh, churches and so on. Some say these Muslims must pray in the street because they need a larger mosque. But Maxime has observed cars coming from other parts of Paris, and he believes it's a weekly display of Muslim power. They are coming there to show that they can take over some French streets, to show that uh, they can conquer a part of the French territory. If France faces an Islamic future, it took a Russian to write about it. It's the best-selling novel, The Mosque of Notre Dame, 2048, a bestseller in Russia, not in France. The French publisher, Jean Robin, says the French media ignored the book for being politically incorrect. So Islam is seen as the religion, religion of the poor people. And so you can't uh, say to the poor people, you're wrong, otherwise you're a fascist. That's how it goes. The book lays out a dark future when France has become a Muslim nation and the famous cathedral has been turned into a mosque. Whether that plot is far-fetched depends on whom you ask. Muslims are said to be no more than 10% of the French population, although no one knows for sure because French law prohibits population counts by religion. But the birth rate for Muslims is significantly higher than for native French. Some Muslim men are said to practice polygamy, a charge this man faced, in some cases with each extra wife having children and collecting a welfare check. With Islam, it's not only a problem of numbers. The problem of Islam is a problem of uh, really principles. Is Islam a, a political ideology or is it just a creed? French philosopher Radu Stinescu is an Islamic expert who debates Muslim leaders on French TV. It doesn't matter how many they are, the problem is the people who follow Islam are there somehow in a political party who has a political agenda which means basically implementing Sharia and, and build an Islamic state. From the 1980s until just recently it was a social taboo to criticize or oppose Islam and so the government and media effectively helped Islam spread throughout the country. We were expecting Islam to adapt to France, now it's France adapting itself to Islam. About the veil, this Muslim says Europeans should respect Muslim dress. This woman says the veil is in the Quran, and we only submit to God, and nobody else. Even if many government elites in France are in denial over Islam, the people in the streets increasingly are not. And they're becoming fed up with what they see as the growing Islamization of this country. They've started staging pork and wine aperitifs, or cocktail parties, in the street. Their patriotic demonstrations meant to strike back against Islam. Another national demonstration is planned for this Saturday. It looks as if a public backlash against Islam has begun. The French parliament will debate a new burqa law this month. And this French leader has a warning for the West and for America. We cannot accept the development of such practice because it's not compatible with the life in, our, in a modern society, you see? And this question is not only a French question. You will all have to face this challenge. Dale Hurd, CBN News, Paris.